we have a 1500 square foot shooting space where we've got one bed at our dark end of the studio, um, numerous chairs, chaise lounge to pose on. Um, we've even painted the beams dark so that I can use them as posing elements. Right now, this is our ugly shower set. Many of you who have seen uh, this probably know what it was before me even saying it. Um, but we have numerous chairs, couches, mirrors, another bed down at our light end of the studio. I specifically wanted brick, so we found an amazing old mill section. So when you walk into the studio, we wanted that wow feeling. And the space we designed specifically to give that, as well as be functional for what I wanted. Now I can put big modifiers up on a boom and light from above and create different lighting effects that I couldn't do in the past. Um, the other thing that it has allowed us to do is have a completely separate client lounge area where we can do our reveals and we can do our consultations and whatnot. We have a dedicated hair and makeup suite where the client comes in, they get to feel pampered and special before they even set foot into the studio. This is all to craft that overall luxury experience for them to help us stand out from the rest of the brands that are out there that may not have this experience. But also this room is where a lot of the nerves start to calm down with my glam squad as they take their time and have the opportunity to talk to them because all of the stylists that I use have had a session themselves so they can speak to the experience. And it is amazing to see just the nerves lessen from the time they walk in the door to when they get here. The other thing that we do that separates us from a lot, and again, none of these things are needed in order to have a successful brand, but these are the things that I've built in order to help try and stand out and build ours to a higher luxury standard, which is why we built out our own Luxury client closet, which most of the women that come in love this one the most because of all the shoes, but we also stock in studio to help should women and have trouble finding the right lingerie that's going to work for them or not. And then in some of our other closets, which are a little bit harder to see with the camera, we've got amazing glam uh, pieces that you're not going to find anywhere else to shoot in, like Catherine Delish robes. Um, you can see both sets of our angel wings from CB Design Studio. We have five sets of those in different colors in the studio uh, for clients to use. And for a certain age set that grew up with Victoria's Secret Angels, these are a huge hit and give them a chance to have that supermodel experience and have that over the top feeling. So if you will follow me down this way, the other thing that I wanted is if you look, you'll see large wall art uh, throughout the entire studio. So when you walk in, we want you to see the possibility of what your images could look like. Printed large, put up on your wall. These are 24 by 36 metals from Floricolor, which are absolutely amazing. And these are all clients. None of these are models. Women come in and they're like, oh, I want to look like that, but it, I could never. And we tell them, guess what these women said? I could never look like that when they looked at the women who were on the wall before them. So this area is where we come in and we further that experience where they get to come in and see their images on the big screen for the first time. And this is where they have that wow moment of seeing themselves as a bombshell for the first time. A lot of times they cry, they're speechless or Lots of different profane things, all in a good uh, sense. And I love hearing it all. Um, going from that uh, nervousness walking into the door to when they sit here, when they still might have a different level of nervousness. But once the time, once the end of their slideshow happens, they're a changed woman. And it's amazing to see that evolution come through. Then we work through all of their images to figure out what we're going to do as far as albums, as far as their wall art, and we guide them through at every point so that they're getting the best possible experience. It's not just, here's a gallery online, you pick. Because one, that's not luxury in my mind. But secondly, boudoir 
images, we don't want you to be alone the first time you see them. We want to share the joy with you, but we also know it's a very vulnerable thing to share. And so we want to be able to help guide you and show you exactly what we saw and how we shot it and to rekindle that excitement at 